Okay, so I recently watched this video. It's about um, Helvetica. It's called Helvetica. And it's a documentary about this font style, which is called Helvetica. And um, to most people, when I say, yeah, you want to watch a movie about a font style, they would be like, yeah, that sounds really boring and it doesn't seem interesting at all. But to me, it sounded interesting, so I watched it and I actually really enjoyed it. I don't know, that says a lot about me and my interests. Um, you know, Helvetica, it's, if you don't know what it is, it's just this really um, simple, um, it's actually a really nice font. Um, I enjoy looking at it, but um, it, it's used in um, American Airlines uses it, um, Target uses it, um, Gap uses it, pretty much every single warning sign is in Helvetica. Um, on one end, you know, it's it's the companies use it because it's easily read. It's um it's simple. It's it's not really all that complicated. Um and you you know it's it can be used for a lot of different things. Um but on the other end, um it, it is often it's it's overused. It's not really distinct distinguishable. Um I said that wrong. Distinguishable. That's that's better. Um and so, I mean, it's not anything like the Coca-Cola or, or Disney. Um, their fonts are really, I mean, you can tell their fonts. It's, it's very distinguished and it's, I mean, they've been around forever. I got to thinking over just a more complex view of this, this font issue is, um, you know, as, I'm going to say Americans, but I think it's, it's also maybe just the Western world, um, we, we value efficiency and simplicity over over beauty i don't know i don't know what that says about me but um i enjoyed it if you want to check it out it's it's on netflix instant viewing um but it's just really really <laughs> interesting i guess maybe to some people um documentary about fun thing else my dog is snoring right now it's okay he's snoring